Hello there, this is Profit Noise doing my first tutorial for Reason 4. Today I wanted to address the effects units. All the effects units in Reason 4 are stereo. However, if you flip the rack over and look at the back of the devices, you'll see some diagrams in the upper left corner. These little diagrams are very important. They tell you what happens to the input signal. You can see with the M class and other units like the Scream and the vocoder, if you input mono, you get mono. And if you input stereo, you get true stereo. However, with units like the RV7000 or the delay unit, the diagram shows a mono input will be made into a stereo output. And the thing that gets me is the stereo inputs are actually then summed and then made again into stereo for the outputs. There's a whole bunch of things wrong with that. Essentially, it boils down to all your pans are not going to be represented in the effects. So, as you can see, I separated out all my drum patches so that when I mix, I have control over each sound. I'll load up a sharp sound like a stick, and I'll load up an RV7000 into AUX1 and set it to echo. You can hear now, with the drum centered, the hit and the echo are centered. But if I pan the drum hard left, you can hear the drum left, but the echo is centered. What I do to combat this is to combine two RV7000 units to make it true stereo. So flip over the rack again, unplug the cables from the RV7000, duplicate the RV7000, create a new six channel mixer. If you press shift, you can click on the two RV7000s and the six channel mixer. They're all highlighted. Either control click or right click and uh, turn them into a combinator. Now, what we want to do is split the stereo input into the two units and give them their own panned output. So go from the combinator to channel 1. Make sure that the aux send is pre-fader. This will allow you to turn down the dry volume while still sending the signal to the two RB7000s. Take the left aux send and put that to the first RB7000's left input. Put the right aux send in the second RB1000's left input. Then take out the RV7000 1 and bring it up to channel 5 on the mixer. Then take the out from the RV7000 2 and put that in channel 6 on the mixer. Flip the rack around again. Lower the volume of channel 1 all the way down to 0. You can't just mute the channel because that will mute the send as well. Raise the aux send for channel 1 to 100. Now pan channel 5 hard left and channel 6 hard right. Make sure you do not, do not, do not turn up channel 5 or 6's aux send. This will give you a nasty feedback loop. You'll be sending the signal from 5 and 6 back to the aux, back into the 7,000 units, into 5 and 6, out into the aux, so on and so forth. Uh, I know some of you out there are probably all about messing shit up with feedback loops, but for the rest of us who need our gear and ears to stay intact, don't do it. We'll flip the rack back over now. We can now follow the signal path. We go from the drum machine, channel 1, to the drum mixer, channel 1. We get a dry drum hit out the main, and we're also sending the drum mix, sending the hit to drum mix aux 1. From aux send 1, we go up to our echo combinator. From the combinator to channel 1 in the line mixer. Aux send out from the line mixer to channels 5 and 6, panned hard left and hard right. Out of the line mixer's main to the combinator's from device inputs, and then out of the combinator to aux1 return on the main drum mix. Now as you can see, wherever I pan the drum, the echo will occur in the same stereo space, like hard left, hard right, or slightly to one side. There you have it, true stereo effects using a combinator in Reason 4.